Anne Bellion teaches English and Dutch in a francophone school in Brussels. She and her colleagues have access to new technologies, including digital books. These allow her to adapt lessons to the needs of her students, when to work in groups or individually, for example. And you try to memorize the information. There's more cooperation in the class with digital textbooks because one student has to read the instructions, a second has to operate the book, a third could check the dictionary and a fourth takes notes. Then they send the results of their work via the iPad to my email address. So all this forces them to work together. Each student gets an iPad, giving them access to the material. Everyone can listen to the content and then answer the questions in the exercises. The first advantage is that you don't need to take as many books with you, so your bag is lighter. This is a more collective effort. You can go on the internet, so you have more choice. It's easier and in the end you get better results. The documents are projected onto a digital board and corrections are done collectively and interactively, enhancing reading and spelling. And being absent doesn't mean missing out. I think it's true, it's very different. A student who's absent can have all the documents we have in class directly at his or her home. Teachers can also share videos, which can be an easier way of dealing with current affairs. But do the textbooks, digital or paper, meet the expectations of students? I prefer courses where one textbook is used for references and exercises together, but not a course that's all done in one chapter. I prefer the digital textbook with the teacher giving the explanations as well, because you cannot always find all you need inside the books. You still need the teacher there to fill out the course material. Many textbooks have evolved into a toolbox that the teacher can use as he or she wants. That's the case, for example, in the Crack in Math series, to which Francois-Marie Gérard contributed. Crack in Math is a mathematical collection for primary education, and its unique point is to present a set of situations that are relatively open, problems of daily life that children are certain to face in their lives. De Beuk is one of the major publishing houses in Belgium. It works with teachers to write textbooks, which are then approved by the relevant committee. Books are updated every four years on average. Up to now, the development of digital books hasn't had a major impact on the amount of paper books being published. There are still many issues to resolve with the digital system in schools. A lot of them still don't have a wireless network, and the teachers also need training. And publishers have to invest money in a digital product, for which the demand is still quite low. But the sector is likely to grow significantly in the coming years. Meanwhile, paper books remain a safe bet with a good few years in front of them.